Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Gio with Mighty Dubia Feeders. Today's video is going to be about separating our colony that was kind of getting out of control. So we're going to separate them into a separate bin. Uh, and the goal is basically to separate, we want to get a count of our inventory. We want to know what we have in here. Uh, it's time to just basically start a new home. Uh, with, the with the goal being one male to four female, that's the ratio that we want to go for. Some people do a different ratio. Uh, I, don't, I, I don't know of any scientific study that you're supposed to be one to three or one to four, one to five. What's working for us is uh, one to four. Uh, but now, you know, some of the males are starting to kind of fight each other. Uh, so now we want to make sure that we have an exact count or two, you know, as best we can and move them into a separate home and start a brand new colony. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with our bin. And as you can see in this bin, uh, you know, you see these, this, these uh, egg, egg flats and it doesn't seem that there's very many in there. But as I start lifting these up, you'll start noticing all these little guys all over the place, all these adults, all these babies, they're all hiding in here. They're all having fun. They're, uh, they eat great because we feed them great. We feed them great food, okay? We don't, we don't go cheap on the food for these guys, okay? Yeah, they are a roach, but they still need to eat good, okay? Because ultimately, it's for your healthy reptile or whatever uh, pet you're gonna feed them to. So we want to feed them premium food. That way, they're a great feeder for your pets. Uh, all right, guys, so before we move on, uh, make sure you, you hit that like button. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Uh, if you've got any topics that you guys want to uh, know about, uh, just, just put it on the comments, and we'll go ahead and uh, talk about that, make a, make a video. Uh, so now what I want to do, though, is I want to show you guys, the, in case you don't know, I want to show you the difference, what a male and a female looks like. Because like I said, the goal is to separate our adults. So one male for, for four females. So as you can see, the, the males have these longer wings, uh, they're, uh, they kind of look like the common cockroach tree roach that you probably see, like that you guys are scared of. Uh, I'm scared of them too. Uh, so you can see the, the males have the, the, the longer wings. Uh, and the reason why we want to go ahead and separate these, sometimes these males start fighting and they start biting each, each other, their, their wings off. Um, and I will show you a damaged wing, a male, uh, here in a little bit. Uh, now you can, let me show you now a female. Female is, uh, she's, she's a little, she's a little bit more shiny. She's got a fatter body, uh, very voluptuous uh, females. Uh, and you can definitely see them. Once they get to adult, you can't really tell the difference between the, the male and the female until they'll reach full adulthood. Um, some of these, you can't really tell, but you definitely see this female here. She's nice and shiny, and she has a, a very hefty body. Uh, so now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to, I got these buckets that we're going to use to, to sort our, 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 our roaches. Uh, these are just buckets that you get at Home Depot or Lowe's or any, any, any kind of hardware store. And what we've done is we've drilled holes into the bottom of these buckets. And we start out with the bigger holes, you know, and so on. Now we can go again, uh, we can do a separate detail exactly how we did these. But basically the goal is to... Put, 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 sort these roaches by putting them into this bucket and then the smaller ones will just fall down to the bottom bucket and so on and so on. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do next. Uh, the first thing that we're gonna do, I got an empty bucket, everybody does it different. You know, you don't, you don't, there's no science to this. You just kind of choose whatever feels comfortable to you. So I got an empty, an empty bin where I'm going to shake each one of these egg flats uh, and it just makes them easier to get them off the egg flat and then from there, we'll go ahead and pour them into the buckets. So let's go ahead and do that. Make sure I got both gloves on now. So now what we're gonna do is uh, I, I pour two egg flats or, or shake, shaken, shaken, chicken, I don't know, whatever. Two egg flats into this empty bin here. So now what we're gonna do is going to just pour them into the uh, sorting buckets to make it easier for the counting process to make that easier. So now we're just gonna go ahead and do that. Try to get them all into a little corner there. Don't worry, these guys aren't, they're not, they're not dying. They're doing just fine. Come on, there you go. And as, as I was telling you earlier, the, uh, the smaller ones are going to start sorting themselves out, kind of going to the bottom. And the, the larger ones will stay, will stay towards the top. And then we can start kind of just counting them just to make it easier. There we go. That's the last one. So you can kind of see they're kind of sort of starting to kind of sort themselves out. Like the uh, little ones are kind of falling into the, the bigger holes and then 
so on and so forth. Uh, and like I said earlier, we can, you know, you just go ahead and hit me a comment and we can go talk about the drill bits sizes that I use for the holes. Uh, All right, so now I'm just gonna, gonna give it a little, a little bit of shake, that way they can kind of start sorting themselves and just kind of going in there. You can see almost, you can kind of see almost all the, all the, there's nothing but adults almost left. There's a little piece of paper I gotta get out, a little egg flat. Some of the guys are still kind of trying to hang in there. And you know, it's not gonna be perfect. There's always gonna be some little ones that, that stay behind, but that's fine. Uh, it's not the end of the world if that happens. We're just trying to get as many babies towards the bottom buckets. All right, so now that I've given this a few shakes here, I'm gonna start lifting it up slowly. Just make sure there's no guys uh, trying to sneak on, on the bottom here. If they do, just kind of knock them off there. You can kind of see that they're kind of, some of them are trying to make it, but they can't make it because their bodies are just too big. Uh, let's see if we can more, a few, few more shakes and this next one, some of the, it looks like some of the males have, have, have managed to make it through those holes uh, just because they have a more slender body, so they're able to squeeze through there. Again, this is not going to be perfect. Uh, you're going to just have to kind of manually remove some of those, or if you want to leave them, that's fine too. But our goal for this video is to get an inventory, get a count, and get our ratios uh, accurate on our, on our next colony. Hey guys, just real quick, I wanted to show you this uh, this female, this pregnant female here. That's the, her little egg, egg egg casing that she's carrying. That that'll that'll have about you know twenty anywhere for twenty to forty babies. Uh, but you can just wanted to kind of show you guys what that looks like. Now it's time to feed the babies. Uh, I got a little a little bit of babies in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and give them a little bit of chow in here. Give them some um, some more water, more water crystals. Let me turn it this way so it'll be better for the camera. And we'll put some some fresh stuff in here also for them. Some spinach, some beets. They like those oranges too. Oh yeah. So why um, why do you have this set up? going for these babies we just we recently we just sorted our uh, our colony and we just got some babies into this container here uh and we are we're in the editing that video guys so make sure you subscribe so you can uh so you can check out our our sorting procedure how we go from you know getting all the all the adults out of all the mediums out all the babies out so this is some of the just uh one of the containers that we have some some little tiny babies in here and we just kind of got in there to uh they're way down in there. Way down there. I don't know if you can see them. 
A whole bunch are there on the other side too, right? Yep. And um, why do you leave some of that frass at the bottom? Some of those frass, some of that, those babies are actually, if you can if you move these around, if I kind of lift up this carton here, you'll see that there's some babies that, that like to kind of like bury themselves in that frass. You can kind of see that, all that, yeah, that you can movement. See move, move, you can see them moving around. You see that it, one that's molting right there? That what? white one, yeah. Yeah, that one's molting. So we just like to we leave some of that frass there because they like to hide in there and some of the babies even eat that, so. And then what we do is that once they get on that egg carton, guys, we transfer, because it takes a little time for them to do that. And then we transfer them to our um, newborn and our small um, bend that we have to sell those off. So if you guys need some newborn or small or medium or large Jubia, check out our website and look at our inventory there. Guys, so make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, we have some cool content coming up. We'll be going to the Reptile Show in uh, Conroe, Texas at the end of the month. So those are videos that we want to share with you guys. Just kind of bring you along for the adventure. Uh, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next time.